Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why? Because you bring your tablet. What do you mean? Because you brought your tablet. Your phone. My phone don't have. My phone does. All, all I did was go. On, Billions of pages on the internet. I'm not. I'm not going on the internet. If, oh. if I don't have, if I don't have it in my profile, I'm not gonna. If I don't have it, okay. I'm right. not gonna gonna post it. It's not like I, I have a presentation. You Tuesday for a hamburger today. Hey, hey, let me, hey, hey, let me tell, let me tell, let me tell y'all something though. What I realized tonight. I'm not giving them hamburger. You know what I, you know what I realized tonight. Jabari don't answer questions. Yeah, bowl bowl. Jabari don't answer questions that he can't answer. He'll go around in circles and preach. You see, this is this is I'm what, preaching. yeah, man, you're preaching oh tonight. So, but I'm but preaching. but I'm gonna say this for everybody that's watching. Justin Marta believed in a literal Jesus Christ. I don't know where it come from. I told him where it came from. Wimpy from Popeye. Of course, on Tuesday, Wimpy is nowhere to be found. But he come back on Wednesday asking you for a hamburger. And he says, I will gladly pay you. That's what he's doing. Wow. What I know, I know, doing. I know, I know, I know, Papa. I know, Papa. No sources. He says, I got to upgrade my sources with no sources. Jabari, 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 Jabari. If you bring Timothy Freak and, and the other guy, Jesus Wars, you're going to embarrass yourself. Who's the other guy? Oh no, man. <laughs> oh, no. Everything in nature is a deity. There is no God outside of nature. There is no God outside of nature. Same thing. Same no, thing. No. Divine. Okay, well, if you say something is divine and a deity, it's the same thing. If you say everything. Everything, everything is God. Yeah, but it's wood. They, it's wood. The argument you're making is that, that pantheists believe that everything is a deity. And I would agree with that description. I just want to tweak how you're saying it. In nature, there is nothing outside of nature. The pantheist does not think it's something outside of nature. Right? The atheist does not believe that there is nothing outside of nature. Yeah, uh, atheists don't think it's something outside of nature. It's the same train of thought. The concept is that nature. Basically, listen, listen, a scientist understands that there is nothing outside of nature. No, don't, don't get scared. Huh? Oh, hold on. I would think that, no, 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 I agree with your assessment, what I, what I, but I think that the term nature in your description is doing a lot of work, a lot of heavy lifting. Because I think that what I would describe as nature might be different than what an atheist might describe as nature. Okay, what do you describe as nature? First of all, I truly argue, and I, I know that scholars have not done enough etymolog etymological work to prove this yet, but I truly believe that nature must come from nature, right? I think that the concept that there are, that the entire universe is actually from one source, and that the, that one source actually no, no, no. has manifested itself in a multiplicity of things, but is actually one, is one of the ways that I would describe nature. But I will also say, let me say this, let me, I will also say that, at least according to my tradition, because everything is the all, it's difficult to describe the all because it's everything. So that what most people do in the comedic tradition and in other traditions is, we don't describe the all, we describe how the all behaves at certain times. And so that's where we get the idea of one deity and another deity. They're not really different deities. They're simply expressions of the same thing. So, so everything in nature has protons and neutrons and electrons, atoms. Am I correct? Everything. So if you thought the atom was the all, you know what I'm saying? That everything is made up of the all. Everything is made up of the atom. It's the same thing, different words. The, the, scientists, the scientists will tell you, right? If you look at the Big Bang, okay? And how the universe expands. You, you, you feel me? 
So if you look at the comedic tradition with, with the premodal waters, the premodal stuff, it don't say where the premodal stuff come from. It's, it's premodal. It always was there. I, that's a, so the universe, watch this. The universe, everything in the universe. So, so when people say, well, well, who made the universe? Well, wait a minute. Everything in the universe, you know what I'm saying? The universe, the universe has, contains everything that produces the universe. You get that, right? Yeah, they, so I'm saying everything in the universe, everything that's contained in the universe, the universe is a closed system, Jabari. You feel me? It's a closed system, meaning there's everything in that system already. You get that? No, seriously. Nothing made the universe because everything in the universe is already here that, that would make, that makes the universe. That's why it's called a closed system system we saying the same shit right so what are you trying to tweet here oh professor james small in the building my master teacher dr elder we got a Get him love. You better have What's your that, mask man? on. Don't fool around. What's up, mask yeah, not you. I know you taking care of. I'm talking about these people trying to. Oh, he brought his tablet too. Oh man, he, he's another. He's another Jabari man. He's another Jabari. I'm going. I gotta prepare for tomorrow. I am not sitting with y'all all day, and then be yawning in front of the room. But don't it start three o'clock? Yes. I still have prep to do though. I'm not. How far is it from here? when i was actually in a room and i can't remember exactly which conversation it was i thought that part of what um divine was doing was similar to what i thought polite was doing and i think that what they were doing is they weren't ever saying i don't believe in this i don't think this works i don't they were like playing they were like playing on the edges and i think that that could be dangerous that's just my opinion and here's the deal here's the deal here's the deal i don't know everything that you said so I, I'm going to stipulate that I could be wrong, but that's what I thought I was hearing. Okay. Yeah. Listen, y'all spread out. Get, get some distance, yo. Some distance, man. Spread out, Divine. I know you don't believe in all that. Stretch, stretch it out. I do. Yeah, we get some space. Shit. Hell. Man, whatever, man. See, anti-vaxxer. The anti-vaxxer. So I just want to make this clear for you, Divine, right? All of your arguments are anti-vax arguments. Now, how do I know this? Because I sat in the room with the foremost authority on anti-vaxism. Did we not? And they had the exact same arguments you had. As a matter of fact, they cheered you, Divine. Let me finish, Divine. So, and, and New York, they cheered him. So if he was, listen, you wouldn't stand on the atheist side if an atheist was debating, right, a spiritualist. You wouldn't stand on the goddamn atheist side and spit fire on the spiritualist side that agreed with you. You wouldn't do it. No, no, it, it's not the no, no. And we talking about comedic spirituality against an atheist, and they got the same doctrine you got. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it how it was. Well, you're an atheist, right? I'm a real black atheist, baby. You don't, you don't real black atheist. Nah, nah, hold on. You ain't gonna, I ain't gonna let you co-op that yet. I ain't gonna let you co-op that. So watch this. I baited him in. He baited in. My point is, he's an anti-vaxxer and won't admit it. That's the problem. Now watch this, watch this. So if you ain't never, if you won't vaccine your children, then you must be against vaccines. If you don't, would you take the corona vaccine? No, you wouldn't. My kids are in private schools. Does that mean I'm against public schools? No. No, no, no. No, no, no that's an anti vaxxer <laughs> anti -public Of course. No, no, don't change it. Don't change it. Very simple. I did. He won't answer. Good. Watch this. So, would you take the coronavirus vaccine? No. Right. Ever? Never. You said no. I, you, just say you no. see this? You see this? No. I'm going to let him talk. Divine, you're going to get your chance to rock, Divine. Answer your question. I said no. No. So anti-vaxxers don't take vaccines. I just want to say that. Do you vaccinate your children? You won't answer this question. 
I'm not no comment. I rest my case. To school, did you have to receive vaccines? Did you? Oh, so when he went to school, this is the question. This is the low hanging fruit that you need to ask. You got to hit him now. <laughs> so he did have to take vaccines. Am I correct? When I was young, yes, my parents got me vaccinated. So this is my problem. No choice. I didn't have a choice. Correct. So here's my problem, Jabari Garfield. He is still afforded the protection of science. But yet he sit amongst us, right, and deny the value of that science that has protected him for his whole life. But he don't want the next generation to be afforded that same protection because he's an anti-vaxxer. Simple as that. Simple as that. Right. All right. So now, now I'm going to speak. Now I'm going to speak, right? I'm going to wait for them. <laughs> you see, they, they're older than me, right? <laughs> These are my elders, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, so, the, so uh, the first thing he asked me was, was I vaccinated? Yes, I was vaccinated. My parents got me vaccinated because in order to go to pub, I mean, public school, you had to be vaccinated. So I just, I, what was I going to do at four or five years old to my parents? No, you can't vaccinate me. I mean, nobody's doing that. No, but my parents, they, they wasn't, they wasn't with that. They wasn't going to do that. They, my parents did what they believed was best for me at the time. And I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Based on the information, based on information that would have been previous to me and them, yes, that would have been the best thing to do at the time. Yeah, of course. I'm saying, but now I won't get any vaccinations other than what I already have. They what? Um, I don't know. I can't say. I can't say yes or no. I don't know. So I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> you need more than one. Come on, man. You got to let him answer. So I'm saying, I know he's saying that he wouldn't get his children vaccinated. And I know he's saying that um, he got vaccinated. So I'm asking, did his parents do right by him by getting vaccinated? He said yes with the information they had at the time. So I'm asking, based on the information you have now, did they harm you by getting you vaccinated? Um, I don't think so. No, no, no. I don't think so. What I'm saying is when I was, I think it was about four years old before I got into like preschool, whatever the case may be, I never had asthma of any sort. I never had any allergies. Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. You asked me a question and I'm just trying to give you an answer. When I started to get the onset of, you know, what we call allergies, asthma and eczema, it was after I got vaccinated. Prior to that, there was there was no record of it and we have i have my medical record to prove it it was after that that the onset of these symptoms started to occur am i saying that is linked i'm not saying that is linked yes or no hold on let me finish you ask me a question what i'm simply saying is i'm saying i don't know i'm not saying yes i'm not saying no i'm simply saying i don't know now if you want to now if you want to go over some if you want to go over some articles on it we can go ahead and look up some articles on it no no let's do it because you ain't got to take my word for it but what I'm saying is my parents did my parents did the best of their ability at the time to get me vaccinated. And what I'm saying is I can't say there's any direct connection between me getting vaccinated and me getting sick. I'm just telling you what occurred. That's all. Sure. This morning before I actually got on the plane, when I was walking to my house, I noticed that someone left dog poop in front of my house. I picked up the dog poop and threw it away and I caught my plane. Therefore, in order to catch your plane, you better pick up some dog poop. This is the logic of the argument you just made. Simply because you are saying that you were healthy before you had vaccinations, and then you had allergies after, that doesn't mean that the vaccination caused your... I'm saying you would have to do a lot more study and research to see if it did. But I will say, but I will say that just looking at you is not helpful. We literally have billions of people now who have received many vaccinations. And we can say definitively, definitively, that a properly made vaccine is important to the development of the human being. 
and that it, I mean, you, what we have to do is look at smallpox. Smallpox is a disease that has been eradicated. It literally killed millions of people. It was extremely painful. And were it not for an African who told a European about it while he was still enslaved, perhaps there would still be tens of thousands of people dying around. So, I'm talking about what? Talking about smallpox. No, cowpox. This is smallpox. Okay, you know the story, right? Yeah. Okay. So it was because of his observation of cows. It was because of his observation of cows having the similar symptoms to people that have smallpox. It's called cowpox. Milkmaid. There you go. So the, what happened was the milkmaids, the people that was milking the cows, would get blisters and stuff on their hands. You told the story. Yeah. What are you talking about? All uh, right. So, so you know, in the pot. So, and the pox, and, and, well, well, the pox family. So, so a uh, cowpox and smallpox is in the same family. So, if you take a little bit of the cowpox, you can actually use it to, to, to ward off smallpox. That's what, that's what happens. So, 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 wait, so, wait, so, Onesimus, so, Onesimus, we talking about Onesimus. So, 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 Cobb Mather is the actual slave owner, the preacher. He's the slave owner. He's the preacher. I'm, I'm telling him. Yeah, they might. And so, in Africa, yo, they didn't use they. They probably used the cowpox. They probably used the. No, 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 no. Y'all on the same thing. Y'all in the same. It's the same thing. No, I swear, it's in the same story. No, he taught them how that they, they was wondering why, right? They wasn't afraid of the smallpox. And and so Onesimus and then was like, wait a minute, where we from, we do the little surgery, put the cowpox in it, you know what I'm saying? And it gives us immunity against the smallpox. It's the same thing. They still whether you are right or I am right, these are distinctions without a difference. The point is that an African bought brought vaccinations to the United States and that uh, no wait listen to me listen to me he brought the pot the concept of vaccination to the United States and so what he basically did hold on hold on hold on hold on because we might be doing this is this is something that I know you do sometimes and I'm finding myself getting caught in it and I'm like why am I getting caught in it the differences that you are describing do not change the argument the argument is, the argument is to be entirely and totally against vaccinations doesn't make sense. Well, you just said that you would never get your children vaccinated. What did you say? I, thank you. Uh, he asked me, would I get the coronavirus vaccination? I said, no. Then he asked me, did I get my kids vaccinated? I said, I'm not going to comment on that. And there's a reason why I'm not going to comment on that. Comment, comment, comment. No, you said something before. No, no, no. And then you asked me about when I was younger. No, we can't hear you. I want to hear the dialogue. No, you know what? I should have brought two mics. I got my other I don't mic know on. why you brought one. <laughs> you always need two mics. <laughs> Maybe I'm saying something you said off camera. Because the second time when he tried to get you say it on camera, then you said no. The question that he asked you was, what? No, 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 no. I'm not going to because I already know you don't want to say it on camera. No, I'm going to say it on camera. Oh, you're talking about my children? Yes. Oh, no, I'm not going to comment on it. But you did comment. I will say He asked you twice. No, but I said this. My children are in the private school. They're not in the public school. Listen, family, family, family. Are you listening to what I'm saying? I am, but, you already, but you're saying stuff that I, I understand what you're saying. That's not the point. So what's the point? The point is, I am saying that you might be, now I'm saying might be because I can stand corrected. I have not listened to everything you said. But you might be an anti-vaxxer. Because whenever, listen, 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 because when we ask you whether you would get a vaccine, you said no. First of all, there has been no vaccine developed. So you're making a determination about something that does not exist. That's like me saying, hey, would you go to the moon? Never. Why? You know what I mean? I mean, why? Yeah, but you should say, yeah, but, but I'm saying, how are you so definitive about something that doesn't exist? Okay, so that means you might be an anti-vaxxer. And, I all, and then he also asked you, then he also asked you, did you vaccinate your children? You said no. No. In the beginning, you said no. I said, I never 
in the begin listen, I, I am not a fool. In the beginning, he said no. And then when Ankh took the mic to say it on camera, he said no comment. He said no, he said no comment on not the comment. That was the second time. The first time you said, the first time your answer was, listen, the first, am I confused? The first time the answer, that was the second time. I'm not talking about a million times. I haven't been here a million times. I'm talking about what I heard tonight. What I heard was, what I heard was, would you, would you vaccinate your children? He said, no, but they go to private school. And then I took the mic. And he said, would you vaccinate your children? And you said, no comment. That is what I recall. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But my point is, it sounds like you are, if you're not an anti-vaxxer, you're anti-vaxxer adjacent. That's what it sounds like. My position is, I'm pro-choice. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm pro-choice, right? So if somebody chooses pro-choice about vaccinations, if somebody chooses to get vaccinated for whatever it means to get vaccinated, fine, get vaccinated. I'm not against that. If you feel that that's, if you feel that that's the best course of action in regards to your health and you're being responsible based on what allopathic medicine is telling you, get the vaccination. I have no problem with that. I'm not gonna tell them, no, don't do that. It's evil, it's wicked, don't. That's not what I do. How about what? The choice, I've made a choice that I'm not gonna get any flu vaccines, no coronavirus vaccines. That's my decision. Old vaccines, flu shots. Old no, that's what I just said, flu shots. I got everything, I got everything that I need, so I don't need to get any more. How could what? You know how difficult it is for a zoonotic disease to jump into humans? Okay, you want me to explain to you how the process works? No, 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 because no, you know I'm going to get into it. I can explain to you how it works. This is why when you have novel viruses, it becomes a big deal because it's very difficult for a, in this case, a coronavirus to jump species from a bat. Hold on, hold on. A bat to a human, hence why they said it's an intermediary host. There has to be an intermediate host that is always in contact with humans because bats are not always in contact with humans unless they're caught, they brought to the factories and chopped down and used for food. Outside of that, hold on, I'm about to explain to you because it's very difficult for a zoonotic virus, oh, my bad, for a zoonotic virus to be virulent in humans. And the reason why is because it's a lock and key. If a virus, let's say for example, your dog, you have a dog? Okay, wait, I'm about to, I'm about to bring it down. Let me give it science. Do you have a dog? Yes, I do. you have a dog? You have a cat? You should have a black cat. Let me, let me stop. <laughs> yeah, because you want to be entrenched in comedic culture, you got to have a black cat. Sit Anubis right by the door and let Anubis... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just messing with you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. He can't get a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So look, so look. No, I'm about to, I'm about to explain what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so, so let's say for example. So let's say for example, you have a cat or a dog, and they have a particular virus, right? Virus is. Oh, you okay, Elder? Elder, you good? He's having too much fun over there. <laughs> Vessel, Vessel, have too much fun over there. <laughs> all right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The Elder came with some fire. <laughs> Man, oh my God. Woo wee boy, he ain't gonna never die, yo. All right, listen. Okay, so we, we understand zoonotic transfer, the difficulty in it. We get all that, but I wanna get back to the subject. The reason I've always said, I wasn't being mean when I called you anti-vaxxer, but, but anti-vaxxers always act like they're not anti-vaxxers. That's my point. Now they say the same thing, they say it don't matter. No, nah, you you ain't no. That, that that whole room was full of people who will try to convince you that you shouldn't get it. But but at the end of the day, but they say, yeah, you do. People listen to you, bro, and, and they hear you speak, and the way you the way you articulate your conversation, they're like, this nigga gotta know what he's talking about. I sit over here, I don't talk as fast as you, and I'm like, divine is crazy as hell with all that because I know because nothing you have, right, is scientifically sound. You know it, and I know it. Or, it's not sound, and, it's, and it has not progressed to the point where you can stand up and beat your chest. So you haven't brought up phony, hold on, hold on. You have not brought up things that don't exist. 
I'm not saying that. I'm saying the corny part of your argument is you know that I know that you know that I know that all the things you speak of have not come to flourishing in the halls of science. I mean, this way back, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't there yet. So it's not there for us yet to even, you know, deal with. That's my whole point. All the things you talk about, the algae, all that, the different uh, ad events and all, that's not even nowhere near remotely. As a matter of fact, they're on the third generation vaccines right now. You know it, and I know it. So the guy that was the, the anti-vax guy that was there at the event, what was his name again? The lead anti-vax guy, because I don't even know these guys. Zell Big Tree. Okay. He, tell, he said he's never gotten a vaccine in his life, ever. Do you believe him? No, he's fucking lying. I know it, you know it. So do you know that he actually, he actually showed that information to people before? They could see his medical record as far as vaccination. No, he'd be lying. I don't, I don't believe, I don't listen to Belgium. I don't know. I don't know about that. Come on, you got me on the point. That's because that's science. If somebody is living who has never been vaccinated and has been exposed to people who get infected all the time, how come they're still alive? Come on, human beings been alive without vaccines for the first 300,000 years of human history. Vaccines, hold on, for the first, the first 250, 300,000 years, no, 299,000 years that we, before China, Africa developed, you know what I'm saying, virulation, which is inoc which ended up being inoculation, right? And then you get the vaccine with Edwin Jenner. Before that period, there wasn't no, that there wasn't no medicine against that. Yeah, there wasn't there, there, there wasn't no vaccine. There wasn't that yet. So so that's a crazy question. So golf, I mean, um, Jabari, do you hear what he's saying? He's wondering, and I know you're gonna have a good explanation. He's wondering how come for the first uh, uh what what uh, two hundred and fifty thousand years, or no two hundred and ninety nine thousand? Am I saying this right? That there wasn't any violation or vaccines that humans made it. Well, okay, but the point is, the point he's trying to make here is, is because we didn't have it, why would we need it now? And my answer, well, well, you didn't say that, but you're basically saying that how did we make it prior to that? Hold on, let me finish my point. I'm saying the way we made it was we got decimated. That's how we made it. Many lives were lost. Many lives, that's not the point. Man, no, 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 no. Smallpox. Is he serious? <laughs> Why do people use euphemisms for death? Evolution. If my parents die of a disease that could act, they could have been inoculated and saved, I'm not going to just sit there and say, we don't need a funeral, that's evolution. I'm not going to cry, that's evolution. But I'm saying that the large, a large number of people on the planet are alive today because of vaccinations. And I think that we have to, and part of modern medicine is vaccination. And I think that one of the things that we have to do, one of the things that we have to do is recognize that, that there have been many, many, many advances that have saved people. And one of them is vaccinations. Probably, maybe one of the chief ones is vaccinations because there are people who have been vaccinated that still don't have any major access to healthcare on this planet. We already understand that there are impoverished nations that have very little healthcare. My wife and I are trying to bring doctors to Ghana. It's like one doctor for 40,000 people, but many of them have been vaccinated. And so part of the challenge is that we have to recognize that without some of these remedies, there would still be wholesale death. And I know that there are certain people on the planet would, that would be okay with that because they think we have a problem with overpopulation. And they also believe that certain people don't need to live. Um, and so I simply believe that we should actually use science, a science that was first developed by Africans likely, to save people. Now, that I am not saying that I trust anything that anyone has and says, this is a vaccination, put it in your veins. I, that would be stupid because we have a long history of um, white supremacy existing amongst the healthcare system. We have to do our research. We have to try to vet the, the remedies that they're describing. But on the same token, to be entirely against the concept of a vaccine without one even being developed, by the way, I think makes one an anti-vaxxer. Okay, I see what your position is. <laughs> no, he is an anti-vaxxer. They just never admit it. As a matter of fact, if y'all watch that debate, it's up on Sarnetta's channel. 
right? And all of them stood up and said, we not anti-vax, we not, all of them said the same thing. I'm just saying, yo, you sound like them. That's all I was saying, bro. All right, so, um, uh, do you get the flu shot, yes or no? Yes, yes I do. Do you get it every season? Yes I do, oh, for the last uh, four years, I've gotten it. I had to realize is a, that, that for the most part, flu will be considered a vaccine, uh, a treatable disease. So I haven't gotten a flu vaccine in, man, I don't know, maybe over 10 years. But I know, but I'm saying in over 10 years, right? How come I've never got diagnosed with the flu in 10 years? First of all, I've been exposed to people with the flu now. So, so hold on. You're right. You're right. So hold on. Let me answer the question. Hold on. Let me answer the question. So first of all, he don't know if he caught the flu or not because because the flu affect human bodies differently. So he could have had a flu and it just treats you mildly. Could have had a little slight cold. It's always that. So you don't know if you ever had the flu, not unless you got tested every time you got sick, right? And it. And if you didn't get sick, we would call it anecdotal. Yeah, no, dude. No, go ahead. That's a horrible argument. I like that, though. That's a horrible argument. There you go. Here. That's a horrible argument, though, Divine. But go ahead. All right. So the question, the question that I'm asking you, as far as the flu is concerned, right, is the flu deadly, yes or no? The flu can be deadly to human beings, just like the coronavirus can be deadly, but we know 96% of the people recover from it. Not about 96 percent. Hey, look, 96 percent of the people, right? 96 percent of the people to get coronavirus co uh, recover. So it so so it's, it's it's not a deadly. It's not a death sentence. Now the media and all that might promote it, but we spoke with intellectuals. We don't look at the media. We go we go straight to the journals. Recover. There are many people who have recovered that have continuing illnesses. No. Listen, I have no pre-existing conditions. I'm extremely healthy. And I'm going to tell you, I recovered. I did what? I got tested for antibodies. Yes. I thought you knew this already. Oh, I thought you knew. I'm sorry. No, I did. I put it on, it's on Sonetta. I thought you saw it. You didn't see it. It's okay. I'm not. I said, you don't watch a Sonetta video. What's wrong with you? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff I don't get to watch. I thought you knew that, though. Uh, because people were saying I lied. People were saying I lied, right? People were saying I made everything up. No, I, people did say it though. You heard them say it. And so, and, and the reality is, I didn't get tested for antibodies because I wanted to prove I didn't lie. I wanted them to understand I was taking it seriously. And I thought they should take it seriously. So I did get tested. Yeah, I did get tested, and I do have both short-term and long-term antibodies. Say again? So I was sick for three weeks. I, another three weeks, I wasn't normal. And after that six weeks, I was like, I'm good. About a week or two ago, I'm just sitting, watching TV, doing some work. All of a sudden, I have an extreme cough, and I spit up what looks to be, this is going to be disgusting, family, the thickest possible dark mucus. It was dark green. And when I ended up talking to my doctor, he said, you have to understand that you, while you have recovered, recover doesn't mean that you don't have any challenges. You might have continuing challenges that we have not even looked at. You could have blood clots. You could have continuing blood issues with, with cognition because of changes to your brain, weakness, problems with your lungs. The reality is that we have done some real disservice by talking about the fact that many people recover because recover to people means that they have no continuing issues and that's not true and we also say that most people have mild um uh conditions and the reality is they are basing that on the original study that came out of china and if you look at what they considered mild it was everything up to pneumonia without needing hospitalization if I had pneumonia that was so serious that I didn't need hospitalization, I wouldn't generally call that mild. But they were saying that because they were dealing with so many deaths. So that I think that we need to also put some of this in context. So yeah, a lot of people recover. But what does recover mean? 
I know that I'm, when I run up a flight of stairs, I don't have the same ability that I did just in February. And so I need to strengthen my lungs. I'm going to have to do more of that. No, 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 no. What I need to do, the vaccine is not going to help me with this. I know, I know, I know it's a joke. I know it's a joke. The vaccine is not going to help me recover from something that I've already had. The vaccine may prevent me from recontracting it. Because the condition is so new, we don't know how long my antibodies will last. We don't know if my antibodies will be strong enough to fend off all of the other impact of it. We don't even know. I mean, on, people with on, the flu on. vaccine. You know, I'm in the of a no, 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 oh, no. Wait, one, let me finish no. the sentence. He's having a, you having an anti. Sentence. Yeah. No, no, no. The sentence, and I'll give it to you. He's having an anti-vaccine posture. That's yes, what I was trying but to wait, up. listen, listen. The sentence. Now I forgot the damn sentence. <laughs> Anyway, just says anti-vax though. You always on the other side. I'm serious, bro. You always on the other side. You all, no, you're not being objective. Uh, look, look, look. Listen, hold on, hold on, everybody, hold on, hold on. He's not being objective. He's being pseudo. That's what we call it. Yeah, because he's not being. That's not being objective. We no. Listen. What you sometimes some things I think is fair for us to own. I, I own the fact that I don't believe in a God, whether it's in Mexico and the Horn of Africa, anywhere. Right? No, 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 no. I didn't say that. I said I said I give no, I, what I said was, hold on. I need God today. Yeah, yeah, he forgetting. He's getting old. Jabari, the corona is affecting his memory. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's say the preliminary studies. Your memory. Yeah, yeah. Your neurons. You forgetting shit. So, right, so the point I want to make here is, and he just denies it. I want to debate. No, you don't want to debate. He's over. Let him know it's over with Jabari. Them game's over. Thank you. I never, I never say that. You date me all the time. I do not. You are a pseudo you're very sophisticated with your argument. You should you should be and he cheat look, he just did something on Jogi Diamonds, right? Yeah. And you know he didn't put out my response. You know I did a whole hour and a half session with him, right? All of it wasn't about you, but I'm just saying. Well actually See what I'm saying, see? He didn't put it up. Thank God. Me, so I'm responding. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Well, I talk about you because you mess with me when I put my posts on Facebook. No, hey, no, hey tell me I'm chasing him. Hold on. Jabari, if I'm on fa if I'm on Facebook, right, with a post, this nigga come on my shit tell me I'm following I'm I'm which what's the word you say I'm doing? When a person what you say they they something. What do you call when a person is always chasing you around fucking with you? No, not that. What's the word y'all use? No, you say I'm doing something. Not uh, okay. It's close to that. Not sweating you, but what y'all say? Trolling. Trolling. Yeah. You do be trolling. Huh, how can I troll him on my post? Because you put my name in there. No, no. How can I troll on my post? You cannot troll a person. No, I have a subject matter. No, I have a subject. Even if I go live and I'm doing some crazy shit, they say, "Oh, something is trolling." That ain't the truth. You use it incorrectly because I'm actually dealing with a subject matter. Dealing with vaccines, I didn't tag you. Find that man. If I tagged you, I ain't tagged you first. I don't know. I could have. I'm getting old, but I don't think I did, nigga. Anyway, 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 he should actually, he should actually accept the fact that he's an anti-vaxxer, and he actually thinks he has something that could actually go against viruses. Right around, right around, divine. The re, like the rare algae and the iron lungs and all that. <laughs> You ain't see, he said. Proper. Nothing can do, nothing can defeat a virus, bro. Nothing can defeat a virus. No. The human immune system can't defeat a virus. No, you, you, it actually trains it, it. It trains your immune system. Question, right? So, um, remember we talked about. No, 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 no. I'm saying, no, I didn't. I didn't lose. I'm letting y'all talk.